hello everyone you are welcome back to adorable kitchen if today is your first time of coming here you are highly welcome please subscribe so guys this is a continuation of our last video on this very one i'm going to show you guys my second method of converting fresh tomatoes into tomato paste if you have not watched my last upload you may want to check it out okay i showed um the first method of converting tomatoes to tomato paste without even cooking or um, boiling the, the tomatoes at all but this method is very different and you are going to like it also i start by washing my tomatoes after washing i use my knife to just cut into them just to um help the blades of my blender blend the tomatoes properly after blending i transfer into a big pot and i start cooking on medium heat in order to avoid adding too much water while blending the tomatoes i usually reserve a little in the blender then i add another tomato and blend together without add, having to add more water so after blending everything after grinding everything just transfer in a pot as you can see i have two big pots here so next thing is just to start cooking this um, tomatoes on medium to high heat and i cooked it for about 45 minutes but this time depends on the quantity you are making You don't necessarily need to cover the pot just use your spatula to scrape the sides of the pot just to avoid the tomatoes from getting burnt You will know that it is ready by seeing the water separate from the tomato itself. If you take a very close look, you will notice what I'm talking about. You notice that water is different from the tomatoes. There's no way, like it's not possible for you to boil those tomatoes down until all those water dry out. It is not possible. The only way and the very best method is what i'm showing you guys now okay there's no way you can just boil this whole pot and the water will just dry out and it's going to like um, um waste your fuel or your um, gas or your kerosene and it may also get burnt but this method is very very fast it's, it also saves time and your tomato won't even get burnt so if you look closely you also see what i'm talking about that the water has separated from the tomato itself so the next thing you need to do now is to transfer this whole thing inside a um, colander or um, a mesh sieve these are the sieves that i use for this um, procedure um, this ones with um, very tiny openings that's the type you need you can also make use of bag you know the type of bag we use in making akam that's the um, muslin bag the bag we use in making ogi the ones that look like pillowcase you can also use it instead of this um, net um, mesh so the next thing is just to transfer the tomatoes inside the colander once 
to start transferring the tomatoes you will notice that the very first ones you put in the mesh will pass through it a lot it will be like your tomatoes are sieving out but don't worry just continue watching i'm going to show you how i solve that problem So this is the tactics I use after creating a base by adding um, tomatoes inside the mesh. I then take the first ones I that look like the, my tomatoes sieved out with the water. I just take them and then pour it on top of those ones and those ones will then serve as a base for it and it won't let my tomatoes sieve out a lot. So that's how I go about it. After transferring the tomatoes, just leave it there on the stop. Okay, mark my word on the stop. You don't have to shake it a lot because if you shake it, the tomatoes will pass through the openings. So just leave the leave it there on the stop for some hours, okay, or sometimes for some minutes, depending on the quantity that you made. Just leave it there for some time, and you'll see the water going out. As you can see, this is clearly water. Like this is um water. It's not like we are wasting the tomatoes it's just water and if you look at the pot i use it did not get burnt it did not get burnt at all so that's why i love this method Another thing you need to make sure is that you don't let the tomatoes sit inside the water okay just um, remove the water from time to time and don't let the tomatoes sit there in the water because it will fail the main purpose of doing the whole stuff just make sure that you drain out the water and put it back so that it will um, continue draining So these are all the water that came out from the tomatoes imagine if i had to like um boil down those tomatoes until this water dry out i wonder how long that would take <laughs> so this is the water it is just clear water and those are um, my fresh tomatoes paste okay these are all of them if you haven't watched the other video 
to see the first method please be sure to check that video out okay so the one you see in the back is the one i did using the first method okay in case you haven't watched that please be sure to watch that video so the final thing is just to transfer this to metals inside a ziplock bag or anything that you would like to use in storing those tomatoes so for me i like using um those ziplock bags and i just put them there and i put them in the freezer but i have another method okay in case you don't want to store those tomatoes in the freezer or maybe you live in a place where you can't trust um, the power supply there you can watch my next video to see how you can store those tomatoes without fridge or freezer okay just in your cupboard in your cabinet on your counter kitchen counter you can store those tomatoes for months for six months plus without using a fridge or a freezer be sure to check out my next video on that With this we've come to the end of this video please be sure to check out the other um, upload to see how to store those tomatoes without fridge or freezer and I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like okay give it a thumbs up and if you are not subscribed yet to my channel please subscribe okay just click that button that says subscribe and turn on your bell notification that is the bell sign by the side of the subscribe button so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified thank you so much and have a nice day bye